<laughs> Wait, aren't you? You do one, two, three, blip. We're not very good at this. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boom! I get to go first. <laughs> I guess I should be specific. Florida road trip leg four. Woohoo! That's pretty exciting. I know. It seems like we just started. It really does. It's amazing. It's we're hot. halfway there. We're halfway there. Well, yeah. not quite. Well, when we're done leg four, we're halfway yeah. there. Yeah, so we're doing it, well. it feels a little funny since we're switching from, we did the first three legs on one mm -hmm. side, and now we are moving over to, the to other that side. other edging that we did way back when we vroom vroomed and mm -hmm. started our engines. So, yeah. So Get out your dark again. Yes, we're back to the dark yarn. Mm -hmm. So many things. Yeah, so it's exciting. So where'd you go since you're going first? I went where you went. Except not. What? We both went to Tallahassee. We went there last time. What leg are we on? Four. Yeah. I'm clearly confused. I guess you better take this one. Where did you go? Well, I, on leg four, on leg four, went to the Everglades. Ooh. So we are no longer in the panhandle. No. We actually went to the other end of Florida. Oh! remember where I to went to the now. ocean okay oh, we're good. getting okay. there now yeah so we're now on kind of we're still in the um gulf yeah but so we're, eh, we're kind of on the ocean too a little yes. bit of both so i went to the everglades because there's all kinds of really cool animals there like uh storks Ooh. And egrets and herons. Any and osprey? Panthers, osprey, um, just like our color selection. Um, flamingos. Are there flamingos? Uh, well, spoonbills. Okay. Maybe flamingo. Uh, nah. Let's, let's, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if they're wild in Florida. Let's skip that idea. <laughs> there are Florida flamingos. Okay. I know there are, because I actually looked. Especially okay. when we were talking about using pink for our color scheme. Yeah, I know I've seen flamingo. No, I've seen spoonbills. I've seen flamingos in Florida, but not in the wild, I don't think. Okay. I've just seen spoonbills. So um, anyway. We digress. We're digressing a lot here. But hey, road trips are for off-roading. Yes, and we do a lot of that in our conversations. What? <laughs> and my inspiration was actually none of the above animals, what? but the classic Florida alligator. Ooh. So, Did I you use... have a close encounter? Um, I've been pretty close to alligators, actually. Um, closer than I actually prefer to be. Um, and I... I treat them with a lot of respect. I do not talk to them or call them my way or dangle chicken in front of them or anything like that. It's Sounds a bad like idea. Sounds like you've been making wise choices. I, yeah. And, and <laughs> yeah, I mean, alligators are all over Florida. I would never swim in live water in Florida, only in a swimming pool that I had double checked because really there are alligators everywhere. So um, they're really fascinating creatures. I actually love them, but I don't want to be very near them. Okay. So I knitted one instead. Uh, so I course. knitted the skin texture of right. an alligator Ooh. and it was really fun. It's one of actually my favorite stitch patterns because you basically do two rows of stockinette then two rows of knit two, purl two. Okay. So just as you're kind of bored of stocking it you go into knit two, knit two pearl two and just as you're sort of annoyed with that you go back to the 
the <laughs> vacation of stockinette. So it's a lovely stitch pattern and so fun. So one type of stitch is boring and the other type of stitch is annoying and together they make the perfect stitch. They do. I know. How does that happen? But that's knitting for you. That is I love you. that stitch pattern. So, and it's Very such good. a beautiful texture too. So Very where cool. did you go? So when we decided we were going to go to the southern tip of Florida, I decided I needed to go to the Keys. Okay. See? Nice. Yes. And um, I was very taken by a pine tree. Really? Yeah. Huh. A pine tree that is growing out of a bridge. How interesting. Huh. Why is it growing out of a bridge? No one knows for sure, but they assume that a bird made a deposit. Okay. Well, you know, that happens. <laughs> it had a seed in it. Okay. And this pine tree just grew. Huh. Out of the concrete. Wow. It's like, it's not even on soil. Oh, it's a strong tree. It is a strong tree. The strong tree has a name. It does? His name is Fred. Okay. He has his own Facebook page. You can find out. <laughs> just ch just search for Fred the tree. I'm serious. It is hysterical. But That's talk cute. about a strong tree. Fred the tree survived Hurricane Irma. Wow. In 2017. And one of the things that I found when I was reading about Fred the tree was that um, when the bridge, uh, the seven mile bridge, the Florida what, highway, mm, I don't remember my road names very well. That's Geography, okay. names, I'm clearly having issues. But that long stretch that goes from key to key to key to key, when that reopened and people were going back to their homes, they were shocked, astonished, and delighted to find that Fred had withstood the storm. Yay, and was Fred! There Go, Fred! Them, greeting them as they returned home. Aww. So, Fred gets all decked out for Christmas every year with all sorts of lights and things. Nice. And it's just, there are all sorts of things about Fred the tree. And, um. So what's your stitch pattern like from him? <laughs> well. It could be a her. We don't really. It could be Frederica the tree. Well, it could. I, I guess. <laughs> um, so. I really struggled with the stitch pattern. Okay. Coming up with the concept because I was really enthralled by Fred the tree, but I didn't want to be too literal. Mm -hmm. Besides, like you can only have one tree. There is one Fred the tree. Okay. Right. And so one tree in a large swath of knitting would just be a little weird. Mm -hmm. But as I was playing, I was playing with the design of the bridge and how to make the arches in the mm -hmm. bridge of the old seven mile bridge. And um, so basically, as I was attempting to do that, I made a lot of holes. Okay. So it's kind of Swiss cheesy and not so much Fred the tree -y. So what are the holes? The the bridge? Well, the holes, like, you know how bridges have arches from uh -huh. one? Uh -huh. Yeah, so it was the hole. You okay. have the surface of the water, and then you have, like, your pillars. Nice. And then you have the road surface. Uh-huh. But there are holes. That's cool. My brother was That'd much more successful at taking inspiration from Fred the Tree. From the actual tree. He he made me a birthday cake. Oh, that's fantastic. That that's was my so birthday cute. cake last year. I figured I would share since today is my brother's birthday. Aw, happy birthday. And I've got to come up with something just as clever. That's going to be hard because that's real fun. Fred the tree. Aww. I Fred love it. Fred said hi. So anyway, <laughs> my inspiration was Fred the tree. And while the actual design did not turn out very much like Fred the tree, mm -hmm. the pattern that the holes make was really kind of cool. So I kept it. Excellent. So well, it's it was fun to knit. Kind of Fred the tree. There you go. And kind of not. Well, that's fine. It's about the floor. That's what inner inspiration is all about. That's right. right. You know, yeah, it's like, it doesn't have to be literal. It gives us a starting point mm -hmm. and we go from there. Exactly. And sometimes it turns out exactly like we envision it. And other times we end up somewhere completely different. And that's, that's what's fun. And as long as it's beautiful, 
we're gonna go with it. Actually, Absolutely. sometimes I've had some not beautiful ones that turn out okay. Yeah, you never know. You know, yeah. You combine them with something else, and they work. And and it works. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, that was my inspiration and a little bit of my design journey. Nice. And I got a great birthday cake. <laughs> yes, you sure out of did. Of tree. You sure did. That's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so we want to see your pictures of. Fred the tree or alligators or alligators and Fred the tree. Mm -hmm. um, however you want to work it, they should both be in the dark yarn. Mm -hmm. And we will look forward to seeing those. We will tell you, you have three weeks. Oh, it's always nice to have that little extra time sometimes. Yeah. There are always people who need a little catching up or people who have other projects to do. So we like, we, we keep these journeys as a relaxed experience because um, we don't want people injuring themselves knitting. Right. And so it's really nice when you get that little extra week too to even continue catching up or starting another in, shawl. Start, yeah. <laughs> starting three more shawls. You know what? People might also want to celebrate the 4th of July. Oh, true. There's so that. That's that's a possibility in our group. <laughs> yes. So, so have a wonderful time in the meantime. Be sure to post your finished or your finished clue on Road Trip Mystery Group on Facebook or Fans of Really Clear on Ravelry for our door prize. Again and with the door. <laughs> for our prize. Just don't even listen to her. Don't Do listen not. to her. No, don't listen to her. Do we need to rock, paper, scissors again? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we've figured out how? <laughs> anyway, we'll see you back here in three weeks. In the meantime, we will enjoy all those wonderful photos you've yeah, been sharing. Yeah, we can't wait to see all your colors and all your textures. It'll be fun. And who knows where we'll go next? I might not even know. <laughs> Clearly, I have issues. But we'll figure it out. Have fun knitting. We'll see you again in three weeks. Scissors. <laughs>